Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at if you should bother upgrading to Unity Hub version 3 because Unity have brought out version 3 and it's in their beta stages. But I thought I would give it a go and update it from the version 2.5 that I had, which had a light UI. Many of the features are still the same. There's been some nice UI improvements and just user experience improvements that I think everybody should take a look at. So I do have a video on looking at how to use Unity Hub. And and it does have an overview of the old system. You can see that it had a completely light UI and I absolutely hate that because it hurts my eyes. I personally think everything was a little bit too bunched up so we've got a lot more space in this newer version. So we'll look at this today and tell me if you've upgraded too. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 140 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Make sure to check out all the links in the description for all the sales and humble bundles that you can find to make the biggest savings on your game creation. So throw a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed to always be up to date to what I'm creating. If you're still on Unity Hub 2.5 you can press in the top corner just to update to the most recent version and when you do you just run through a simple setup. Then you will get this new Unity Hub which is an entirely different darkened version with a slightly newer user experience. So now you've got all the information including your profile and settings on the left hand side where the rest of the community learn and the rest of the tabs will be. You've got your ability to manage your licenses and profile on this side. You can change all the preferences to where the program is located, where your installs will go, and the appearance I do recommend that hiding Unity Hub in the systems tray when you're actually using Unity because it just stays in the background and it's a little bit annoying. Then you've got your installs tab as it was before, but now it's split between what pre-releases official installs you've got installed and shows you the versions and you can edit, add modules and show an explorer if you need to access it. If you need to add more, locate them if you've got them installed on your machine and you need to add them to Hub or to install a new editor, you've got a new version with nice tabs to segregate what's actually in beta, what's in alpha and what is actually long-term support so you can actually see these things more clearly and install whatever you may want. The learn tab is somewhat similar but with slightly more recommendations and options for you to look at more content from Unity and the community tab is exactly the same. Now, the only difference, major difference between this is the projects tab where you can now star things. So it will always stay at the top when it's starred if it's a project you always want to go back to or it's something that you often use. So you don't want things to go over the top of it. You've got the name as before. You've got the path as before. You've got the last time it was modified, the editor version. Then if you click the options you've got, you can remove it. You can try and explore it and do things like that. If you need to create a new project, this is a new dialogue window that pops out. It could actually do with a little back button over here, I would say, but it does have the cancel button if you need to go back. Cause if you do press X on this, it will close the whole thing. So if you're creating a new project, you choose which version it is at the top. I'd arguably say this should be bigger. It's a little bit hidden I would say this should be more apparent and then you've got core sample and learning templates which you can choose to download between whichever version you might want so if you're on core you've got access to all the core features like normal 2d 3d urp hdrp and things like that along with other ones you can download if you don't have access to them depending on the version that you choose. Then you've got the ability to add the project name and the location just as before. And then you can click create new project. And you have a little downloads button at the bottom if you come to install any of the Unity editors themselves. So be sure to mention down in the comments if you think there should be any improvements to this version of Unity Hub. And let me know if you're already using it because I think just for the dark theme, it really makes a difference. Make sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 140 different scripts, projects and assets you cannot find anywhere else. To check out all the links in the description for all the game dev, humble bundle and everything sales that you can find to make your games even better, check out my great assets on the Unity store along with bonus discounts on my website that you can make massive savings. Big thanks to all the people who come and support me on Patreon and a massive thank you to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Pavel, Tan Yanlin, Monetary, US, RustTube2x, Ian, Rihanna, Tears, Nick, Dave and David76. And thank you for being amazing too. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.